Thanks, everybody. We're glad to have you here this evening. We're, this is a regular uh, business meeting of the Lake County Board of Education. We're glad to have a good crowd here tonight. Uh, Mr. O'Donoghue has been uh, lobbying for that, and I think the message has gotten out there. But now, seriously, we are glad when people come out and, and voice their thoughts with us and sometimes their concerns. But oftentimes, uh, we get your, your, your input out there. Um, if you would, we'd like to start by having a pledge of allegiance. <coughs> I signed in tonight anyway, so we'll just proceed. Okay, uh, from there, then we'll have our presentations. We're going to start with Dana Smith, who's our maintenance director. Dana, you want to talk about maintenance and facilities? Well, okay. I'm going to connect this Somebody to is. a uh, <coughs> seminar here that's going to talk about the section of school dues. School dues. Okay. I can see the. Mason School Duty is a, an instrument we now use to where uh, all the schools can report uh, needs to the maintenance department and you, you, you kind of follow things. So, and we can do that. We can follow up and, and look at uh, each school and what they may have reported as having needs of and things. So. Welcome to Ready Talk. Please enter your seven digit access code followed by the pound key. Thank you. Please stand by. You will now be placed into conference. Hey there, Dana. Hey there. Diana? He, he's here. He's here. He'll be right back. That's wonderful. 
Uh, we're no, interested in several things. We've got uh, a custodial inventory, an instructional supply inventory, a food service inventory with commodities. Uh, we're interested in a maintenance inventory where I can uh, uh, include those costs on work orders. Okay. And I want schools to be able to get on school due from their school and order products uh, in, in all those categories. Okay. Well, I bet you already know that they can do that. So I'll show you exactly how that happens tonight. We can kind of talk about your workflow there. Now, I'm assuming that your folks are already getting on maintenance directs to put those requests in for maintenance work orders. Is that right? That's correct. Wonderful. Way to go. Yeah, everybody gives themselves a pat on the back for that one. I know that's a need to get everybody on, uh, but that's definitely the, the right way to work the system. And it's going to make this transition very easy into having people request from the site. And um, while we're talking about that, how many locations do you have? How many uh, school sites are there? Ten. Ten, okay. Good. Now, anybody know where Little Birch is? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, that's where my mama grew up in Little Birch. So uh, my aunt, Carolyn Long, has been very, very active in the education in West Virginia for a long time. She's from Braxton County. My uncle, her husband, Harold Long, was also from there. And unfortunately, they passed away in an accident about this. Almost 13 years now. So I don't know if anybody there knows my family. Well, we know Mrs. Long. You do? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's my aunt, Aunt Carolyn. So, her son Derek and I were the same age. <laughs> if you ever see her around, you let her know that you've talked to her and me. Okay. Good stuff. So, let's, let's hop over into the product. I'm going to be sharing out Internet Explorer, just like our other modules that you're familiar with. It's web based. Okay? And if you want to see it in two ways, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take you through the site base, the my school building where they're putting in maintenance requests, we can open up a portal. So you see here they've already self-registered. And I just want to make sure that you guys are seeing this. Are you seeing the my school building page in front of you right now? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me make that a little bit bigger for you. And so now we're going to add an inventory request tab. Okay, so you guys all have maintenance same the inventory there at the top. This does require a password at first, so you can limit it if you want it to uh, if you want it to have different quotes uh, other than the, if, if they're requesting for maintenance and you don't want them in inventory, you just make the password different. Put that in, and essentially, if they can shop online, they can shop within the inventory here. Now, you talked about different areas. We do cover all those for food services, instructional, mechanical items. We have this little catch-all called Other, and we even have technology here. Um, just because it's here doesn't mean you have to have something in it, though. We'll go for instructional. We do have commodity lists. I'm going to just refresh there, and then it's just going to bring in all the instructional commodity lists. Just another way to sort it. Okay, once you get you know, 100, 200 items in here, especially for food services. Yeah. We'll come on in. So these are just some examples of the items. You're noticing a price there. I just want to point out that that is optional. So if you want them to see the price, you can. Um, this price is obviously entered in by you. It can be changed with each receiving of each new box or shipment uh, that you receive. Um, for this particular one, this would probably be for your chemistry lab here. Um, it excludes an MSDS sheet. So both for cleaning items and chemicals for your uh, labs at the high school, you can include the MSDS sheet, which is pretty important to a lot of folks. Yeah. So they can come through here and go shopping. You can in do it individually. I like coming down through and say maybe I want one of these, um, two of these. At the bottom of the page, you can add and update all those things at once. Delivery. 
but this is also going to help for tracking where your supplies are going. Okay. Like I already had some things in my car.